a Florida pastor being arrested after caught doing some dirty business at a Starbucks in Kissimmee. What happened? What are all the details? We'll talk about it in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Also, please share the video, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So, a pastor uh, arrested after being caught, well, how can I put this? Getting a little handsy with himself out at a Starbucks patio and yes he was also fully exposed <laughs> the pastor's name Angenio Munez Cologne he's 39 years old reportedly this incident took place on May 9th but he was not arrested until Monday June 27th after police and a special victims unit had conducted an investigation which led to the pastor's arrest. Interestingly enough, according to police, this apparently was not the first time that the pastor engaged in this type of behavior at this exact same Starbucks. Now, why he's choosing this Starbucks to go about this business, I have no idea why. And you know, I looked around for an official statement from Starbucks. I couldn't find anything, but police said that they had just received a call that this had been going on on May 9th, although they wouldn't reveal any details about the other incidents that he was charged at prior at the same Starbucks. But talk about, you got people there trying to enjoy their morning coffee. You got this so-called pastor out there. He's getting handsy with himself out of the patio. What are they putting in the coffee now at Starbucks? I mean, my gosh, uh, police say that he's a pastor there in Kissimmee uh, and he also teaches online ministry classes. They did not reveal the name of a church uh, or if he's just, you know, solely teaching uh, as a pastor online here with these ministry classes. But I, I mean, what is wrong in a person's mind? You're there in public, okay? And you're doing that stuff in front of people. Never mind, he's not even, what he does in his own home, whatever. God sees it anyway. But this guy is doing this in public and he's teaching online ministry classes? What, what is happening with pastors now? What happened to true men of God? Do they even exist anymore? I don't know. I'm just asking questions here. Uh, the pastor was booked into jail. He reportedly has already bonded out a thousand dollar bond. Uh, look, this guy should be locked up. He can't get himself under control. He obviously has a problem here. And well, I hope that for anybody who has been under his tutelage, as far as these online ministry classes go, maybe you will think twice before taking any advice from a man like this who does and partakes in such behavior like this, especially out in public. I don't know if the guy is married, if he's got kids. I have no idea. Regardless, it's disgusting. Okay. I'll put more information on this for you guys down below in the description. You can let me know your thoughts on it. I, I would tell you the exact Starbucks. If you want to know, uh, I'll put the link down below because if you're in the Kissimmee area and you want to avoid uh, this particular Starbucks, uh, it might be wise to do so. You never know. If you live in the area, maybe you've already frequented it before and now you might have a, uh, uh, a little change of heart there knowing what's been taking place out there on the patio. All I can say is I hope that the team at Starbucks does a good job of cleaning up that area because I sure as heck would not want to sit in there. What is I still can't believe it. It's disgusting. All right, guys. If you enjoy my daily content here talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines and you want to help support the ministry with a generous donation, please click the link to my PayPal below or sign up on my Patreon. Guys, really think about this. For just five bucks a month, you can sign up. When you do, you will be alerted for all the content I put out. YT, they barely push my notifications out, so you guys probably miss a lot of my videos. But when you sign up there to Patreon, you'll never miss 
an alert that goes out for my stuff. Plus, you can leave me your comments there completely censorship free and also send me direct messages. Again, all the links down below. A big thank you to everybody who's already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. Now, I'm not done just yet. I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, if you're watching this video right now and you're someone that is yet to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, well, I'd love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to accept Christ. This is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are, but I'll tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, anything in your life that goes against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this. As I mentioned down below, you can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.